Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another. I'm just gonna keep that in there. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fish in North Atlantic. Hopefully, everybody's having a fantastic day. It is still the same day as April 10th, 2022, except right now it is 1:33 in the afternoon. And uh, oh, let's actually hit the right button here. There we go. Everything's good. Good. Copy. So we actually set 12 lines right in this little area. That one, I tried to make even strings. That one kind of, I ran out of autopilot, so I had to turn it and go up. But then I went down here and I ran out of fish. And then right in here is a, like, basically these three lines are going to be real good. But we set 12 lines. Hopefully, hopefully, if we have about 50,000 per reach, that should be about 600,000 pounds give or take. So hopefully we uh, will have a ton of money. That's at least what I'm hoping for. There we go. Let's look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is fantastic. And we should be getting perfects damn near every single time. Because he is a level 20. Oh my god, he's working. <laughs> Oh, I love money. I love money. It's the best uh, best thing in the world. Uh, that was not perfect. Why did you not get a perfect? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, I can deal with one good if you're going to get perfect for the rest. But we got one good, and that's not good. As long as you don't miss. Okay, another perfect. Okay. So we should get another perfect, and then a good if it is if it's the same. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Now, if this one's a good, then it's going to be a pattern. And let's see. <gasps> oh, it's perfect. Okay, so maybe it's just a random throw of the die and see what happens. I'm not for sure. But anyway, that is an absolute fantastic thing. Let's just take a little picture there so we can have another screenshot. <coughs> or thumbnail, even better. I mean, I hope we get about 600000 That should be about probably $2 million. Hopefully. But we'll just have to see. We'll probably have to go to another port other than Yarmouth. Um, just because we've been going to Yarmouth a lot. And I think the price is going down. I think we are killing the price. But we'll probably just go back to Yarmouth no matter what. Maybe we'll check the price on Redfish. But let's see. Well, actually, that's a good idea. Let's go to uh, fish prices. Okay. So in Yarmouth, it's 207 at about a dollar 307. Definitely not going there. 201. And okay, so we're still going to Yarmouth. <laughs> still going to Yarmouth. 56,000 pounds of fresh, most likely all red fish. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's skip forward a touch. Now, hopefully, we'll get, like, 100,000 pounds, because uh, that'd be fantastic. But make up for some of the, the smaller uh, lines that we're going to get, probably in that southern set. But uh, if we average 56,000 pounds, like I said, we'll end up approximately 600,000. Potentially, uh, if it's 50, well, it's about, yeah, about 50, or 5 to maybe 550 550,000 pounds, which will still be a good day. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Even better. <laughs> this should be about 70, 80,000 pounds here. Uh, still drinking the good old water. water. And it's pouring down rain again. There you go. Man, it's just coming down like cats and dogs. You know, if you definitely walk outside, you're going to have to watch out to not step in a poodle. That's for sure. Even better, you know, I just, uh, I got a uh, submersible pump for my pool and I emptied that all out and now it's going to fill up again because it's supposed to be raining for the next week or two. So that's always fun. Uh, in the last episode of this, when I was setting all these lines, I uh, I mentioned that I was, uh, or we are supposed to be getting some uh, snow. And it's a little late in the season, not going to lie. Normally, uh, we get snow in, in uh, March but never April. So it's going to be real interesting to see if it's actually going to snow or if it's just going to be a, uh, a rain-snow mix, which is normal. 
Uh, normally it doesn't stick. I mean, it's only supposed to get down to 37 degrees, so I mean, it can snow at 37 around these parts, but it never sticks. Um, I mean, it, it takes very strange uh, weather system to make it stick at uh, around here. But anyway, not to worry about that. I've driven in more snow, and I know what to say, and I don't really care for it, not going to lie. But also, that's with the fully load of semi. Fully loaded semi, so... In my pickup, I like going around doing donuts and stuff like that in parking lots, but ever since I got new tires, I can't even do that, which is a good thing. Let's see. This one is going to be 68,000 pounds, so not as much as 70, 80,000 like I thought, but uh, it's good enough. It's good enough. Now, also, what was funny is uh, after we pick up this line here, we will... Uh, go back to the good old comment section that uh, I was so kindly given by Mr. Tin Man. Uh, and if you don't know, Mr. Tin Man loves to pick on me. But it's fine because, you know, he's been around for so long, I, I accept it, right? So we're going to read some of his comments, which is absolutely hilarious. So, like I said, as soon as we get here, I really need to zoom in when I uh, fast travel, because that's going to be a lot easier. All right, let's start turning. Of course, I do not have a... Uh, thank you. Oh, that's a good line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's a full line. That's a, that's a 100,000 pounder right there. Anyway, let's see. Let's go to the YouTubes and see just exactly what Mr. Tin Man was saying. It, like I said, it was absolutely hilarious. So, uh, let's see here. He said, just slow down and you will get your buoy. And I was like, no, I don't want to slow down. Slowing down is for chumps. And we don't slow down on the uh, SS, or actually, no, sorry, fishing vessel monkey pioneer okay we do not slow down whatsoever uh and another thing he said is uh don't be in line with your line angle some and i was like again we just go full bar we don't angle we don't slash we don't diagonal nothing we go straight for the gut right and uh then the third thing he said which i literally it was it was hilarious he said stop overworking your crew or your workers sir and i said <laughs> no and then uh, what did i actually say i said are you a worker and i said no so unless you work for the bureau of workers workers bureau something like that uh, somewhere in there i will do as i please and he said i'm glad i don't work on your boat and i said damn right you're glad because you would never sleep either and, uh, yeah, that is Mr. Tin Man. That is uh, his humor there. Uh, it's it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, like I said, if you want to get to know him, uh, join the Discord. Uh, he, he's on there more than I am, really. And, uh, <laughs> oh, boy, he, he, he's, a, he's a funny guy, funny guy indeed. Let's see. So this was a 15 fish line. Let's see. Oh, 100,000. Give me 100,000. 100,000. Come on. 112,000, holy shit. Three lines, 236,000 pounds of fish. Holy barnacles. Okay, absolutely fantastic. Let's see how this one is. It's right there, if you can barely see it. And, of course, it's getting dark already. Is it getting dark out? So the Sunday is supposed to be the real bad day. I'm actually quite excited about that. Uh, hopefully we can get some thunder and lightning. But uh, supposedly the, the storms was uh, supposed to be interesting. I think we're on, yeah, we're in July. So maybe it happens in August. I'm not terribly sure. But I guess we'll find out one way or another, right? All right. So because he told me to, I believe, yeah, we're kind of angled. So let's just see. And then he said, slow down touch. So we're going to slow down to half speed. And let's see. No fish were caught. What the fuck? I was I was scared this was happening. I I, I thought it was this line that was going to be bad, but apparently it's this line too. What is this? 1840. It just turned. 
uh, blue. So that's not great. That's not great. So we have 179,000 pounds. Okay, let's let's move you here because we need to need to speed up. Actually, no, I lied. Let's move you here and then I'll I'll stab him. I'll stab him for a little bit. Why not? And then hopefully that we won't be stacking. Um, hopefully we'll be stacking frozen fish and not um, not frozen. There we go. Come on, get to work. Thank you. There we go. Then they'll uh, they'll speed up, and there's no way that they'll keep up. I don't believe. Holy mackerel! Look at that number going. All right, let's simmer down. Ooh, we need to turn, 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 baby, turn, turn, baby, turn, turn, and kaboom. Oh, there's a good line right here. Fifteen. Okay, so the last one I guess was just kind of a uh, a fluke. It's kind of str okay. What the hell? And come boop. Oh, perfect. Good. See, look, I'm almost as good as Isaac there. And mine's free. Oh, look at that. Three perfects. One. Okay. And kaboom. Oh, good. It was so close to perfect. So close. And kaboom. Oh, another perfect. Look at that. Ain't I just fantastic? I'm kidding. And kaboom. Oh, good. Are you kidding me? Now, the netting. I, I never did figure the netting part out. There we go. Another perfect. That's just bring in the money. Bring in the money. And boom, another perfect. And let's see. I think this uh, gaff was about 25,000, something like that. And it's supposedly supposed to make your fish bigger or something like that. I don't know. Or you get more credit for it, something or other. Now, we should get more money anyway because of the gutting. Uh, it all should be around five stars. Hopefully, I mean, we did pay good money for them to, uh, oh, that was hard, I didn't see the fish. Uh, we should be, um, getting good money for that, so, let's see. 116,000 pounds, holy macaroni, this is fantastic. Oh, I, was, <laughs> I thought the fish was me, I'm, I was so confused, so confused. There we go, and we're gonna have to skip about an hour, but no big deal, let's see here. Uh, let's see, gutting, all five stars, so we're going to be making bank, my friends, making absolute bank, and now hopefully everybody's still not tired, oh, everybody's just fantastic, everybody's fantastic, man, okay, let's hit that button so we can see something, it's right there, it gets really dark in this game, and I do have the spotlight, and I upgraded it, but I mean, like, if you turn on the spotlight, it, it, it don't do jack squat, see, look, it doesn't do squat, so that's kind of depressing and sad and everything else. But anyway, so far, it is uh, paying dues. It is uh, is paying good money for uh, to upgrade. I mean, it's only, what, 130000 So I'm glad they actually added that in. Uh, 14 fish, not terrible, not terrible. It's probably going to be about 80000 if I had to guess. Of course, it all depends on how big the fish are as well. Let's see, our biggest so far is 116,000 pounds. So, uh, of course, yours truly. Hold that one, not Isaac. Me? I'm kidding. Kind of sounds like a fool of myself, but it is kind of... The, the hardest fish to gaff, no joke, is the haddock. I think the haddock is the ones that spin around like a flipping disco ball. And those are hard to get. They kind of like... It plays with your mind a little bit when you're uh, trying to get those. But, yeah, we're definitely definitely in the money, definitely on the fish. We're definitely coming back. Uh, I did say in the last episode that we might come uh, might come out set and then uh, go to cod season. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is since we're on the fish, uh, is just we're going to come back and set again and uh, pick it up. I don't know if I'm going to record setting. Because it does take about an hour. I mean, it takes a long time to set 12 lines. Oh. Was all of them okay? Or great? I think all of them was great. That's fantastic. Uh, right here. There we go. Oh, nope. Don't want to do that. There we go. That's about as close as I can get. Let's just skip an hour just because... Let's see. Okay, that's ready to go. That one's almost ready to go. But, yeah, there's there's so much time 
in between set or the the lines it's insane you almost don't have to worry about um running out of time picking them up because you waste so much time setting them 231,000 pounds though that that's that's insane now I do wish that we had seven workers instead of just six on this boat. Yeah, six, so that someone could set a repair and you don't have to do it yourself. But you know, hey, what what can you do, right? I mean, you're a multi-million-dollar person with multiple boats. I mean, we can't afford anybody else. We can barely afford the one person we got. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, hit it, hit it. Oh. Good lordly, that was, I, I didn't see the line. 13 fish, not terribly great, about 50,000 if I had to guess. And there we go. Oh, it's better if we hit perfect, not goods. Come on. See, look, that's where karma gets gets you, you know. It, uh, it gets you. Oh, so a story I have to tell you. So yesterday, uh, me and my old man buddy, we call him old Yeller, or at least I do. And uh, pretty much it just stuck. Everybody calls him Yeller and... And for some reason, I'm Hiller Billy. Uh, now it's not Hill Billy; it's Hiller Billy. Uh, but anyway, so we've been uh, we were going down south and and picking up a truckload of uh, trash and whatnot, and uh, it was going to be a busy day. So my boss was like, "Hey, well, send uh, we'll send you and him and and uh, clean that side out so we don't have to worry about it." And uh, it's like, "Cool." So I start going down there, and he's following me and stuff like that. We get to the exit and. And uh, we're getting off the exit. I turned left and, you know, heading down there and everything else. Well, he's right behind me. You know, he was right behind me the whole time. And then uh, we got down to the next stop sign and was taking a right. And all this, and uh, old Yeller was behind us. And he goes, I can't get it into gear. And I'm like, what? And he goes, I can't get it into gear. And I'm like, what are you talking about you can't get it into gear? And he goes, oh, shit. And I was like, what? And he goes, I can't go. And I'm like, now what do you mean you can't go? I was like, did you break your drive line? And he goes, oh, shit. So he jumps out of the truck and looks underneath the truck. And the U-joint is underneath the truck on the ground. Not on the truck anymore. It's on the ground. And he's like, he, he, he had some explicit words uh, shared. And, and he goes, we'll go down there, pick up the load, and, and come back, and, and we'll figure it out. And so he calls my boss. And, and uh, all that fun stuff happens. And, uh, long story short, he uh, he well the the U joint was half connected anyway, like it, it sheared halfway off, and uh, and then all of a sudden I uh, I guess whatever he did, he said he didn't uh, drop the clutch or nothing like that, but whatever he did. Uh, when he was, I mean, it's kind of like on a, a baby hill. It wasn't too bad of a hill. And whatever he did, it just, and that was it. So, uh, yeah, the U-joint and the, so on a semi, the back axle on the truck is your power. And then the front one still spins, but uh, it, it don't have all the power or as much power as the back until you put your diff lock on. Um, but, uh, yeah. He uh, somehow it it obliterated the the uh, the back axle drive line, and so he had to turn diff lock on, and that was an absolute shit of a of a catch there. Uh, but anyway, he uh, turned on diff lock and he got off the off ramp and uh, back onto the uh, uh, got off the off ramp and onto the the other on ramp just to uh, get out of the way and. Let me tell you what, it was a uh, it was a bad situation. Oh look at Sadie, uh, I need another freezer. Oh okay, good. We'll just switch you over right quick. There we go. These are good, good, good. So yeah, yesterday was a real busy day because uh, <laughs> that one just happened to be the longest. Well, it's the second to longest uh, site we have. It's about. Mm, 50 miles each way, and uh, the longest one is 75, 80, 75, 80 miles down, uh, down the road is the longest one, so it's about, it's second uh, longest, and had to do that trip twice, because, you know, the other truck broke down, and and then, uh, 
Had to go to uh, another site, which is about 30 miles away each way, so it was a long day, long day. But luckily, uh, I got done with that around 2.30, 3 o'clock, and then I just had to uh, just mess around at the home base site. And that wasn't too bad. Come on, there we go. Barely. Oh, I almost didn't get that one, boys. Oh, 15. Another fantastic line. Come on, give me 120,000. I don't... I don't really know the, the, all the weight you can get. But we're going to hope for 120,000. Give me 120,000 pounds, please. I think, yeah, the most was 116 so far. Kaboom. And kaboom. I think the next time we do this as well, so in the next episode, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have three workers and then I'll probably hook up all the lines and once they get tired then I'll swap them out for the next line of workers and then just keep doing that and have a continuous that was bad uh, a continuous line of workers um, because I mean it is it is a lot of fish I mean we're up to I think 500,000 was what I saw I think either four or 500,000 so definitely catching a lot of fish and there's a lot of uh, a lot of fish to gut and everything else. So maybe that's the best idea to do. I don't know. We're going to try it and see and uh, go from there. I don't think you can upgrade their stamina. That would be fantastic if you could. Uh, but I also want to get... Oh, that was almost a perfect, perfect. 94,000. So not bad. But I also want to get them... Um, everything that we do on this boat, I want... So like stacking, machine gutting, and... Uh, the other one. I want to uh, get them all sorted out on that because I feel like that would be fantastic. Uh, 608, I think it is. Uh, let, well, that ain't gonna tell me. That ain't gonna tell me nothing. Well, that sucks. I think it, I think it's 600. And, it's either 603 or 608. So we're already good, and we got three more lines. So we may. Well, uh, we won't get a full boat. We, we won't get a full max boat, but we'll get... Now potentially, we could get uh, 900,000 pounds, which is insane. There we go. Uh, depends if this line's a 15. It's a 12. Oh, shh. Not with that. We're not. Okay. Oh, that sucked. There we go. I don't know if I even hit the button or not. I guess I was just slacking on that one. Oh, well, that's my job job is to uh, slack and the boom there we go beautiful but I think yeah that's what I'm going to do in the next one is just take rotations and just keep switching them and then uh, once we get into port then we're going to upgrade them all on machine gutting stacking and freezing um, and then probably just leave the uh, long line hauling alone because we don't necessarily need it um Cooking, I mean, cooking's fantastic, but if we had more people, that'd be better. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to try the rotation and see what that does. We are absolutely doing terrible on this line. Oh, there's a perfect, barely. And last one ended on a good note. Let's see. Kaboom. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, 50,000 because I missed up on a fish. That is terrible. And let's see. Oh, well. We can still pick it up. All right, let's see how, how we're doing. You're doing all right. You guys are absolute fantastic people. 653, so it was a three and not an eight. 653,000 pounds of fish, which is insane. The most we can get right now is uh, 853,000. That's if we get two 100,000-pound lines. That's also if I don't miss the fish. So if I had to guess, we'll get about 750. 750 to 780. Uh, that, that's what I'm guessing. So, well, let's just wait and see. Just wait and see. It does take a long time to uh, pick up these lines as well. Here, let's see. Uh, if it's a 12, that's fantastic. A 10? Oh, you bloody bastard. Why is it always the first one I missed? I hit the button that time. I really did. And there we go. See, that's why you just want to hit them before the perfect and instead of after, because then you just miss and 
It's never fun. I don't know. It could just be me. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should just let Isaac do it. You know, just let Isaac do it, and then, then he can go machine gun and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. But we'll probably get another 50,000. Eh, hopefully 50,000. Uh, we'll probably get about probably 30 to 40,000 because I missed a fish and there's only 10 fish on the line. So we'll have to see. But we're hoping. And plus it all depends on the size of it. I think all the size uh, depends too. Yeah, 35,000. That was absolutely trash. But it's all right. All right indeed. And we have to wait another hour, which is strange. We'll just give it two hours, give them boys and girls some time to finish up getting these fish, even though you have 160,000 pounds. You are what? You are my stacker, so we'll let you get back out, and we'll let you... Actually, no, I lied. I want you here, because I don't know why. Just, just go there. So we're at 688,000 pounds. If we get 100,000 pounds, which we should get close to it, because this one was on a lot of fish. So if we get 100,000 pounds, we'll still make what I thought, which would be 750 to 780,000 pounds. We'd actually be over it uh, if we did better. So let's see. On the last line, can we make $780,000? We should be making about 1.5 million or more. Maybe even $1.6 million on this load, uh, this haul of fish. So, let's see here. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Hit the first one. 11 fish. Not great. Not great. I really thought that one was going to be a good one. We may have to skip forward a, a, a little bit to let the population grow back again. Because uh, we are taking out quite a bit. We're going to have to look at the uh, the habitat and see uh, just how much exactly, how much damage we got. If it's still uh, high, or whatever the, the top one is, I think it's high, or uh, whatever, then we'll we'll come back down and see. But uh, we'll, we'll just have to see on what the habitat is. I keep forgetting that the habitat has a big deal with it now. It used to not be. It used to, like, if you found the fish, you'd just go there and tell they're, you know, until you fill the boat, basically, but life happens in strange ways that we just have to deal with. All right, one more fish, and then we can head in and start skipping time like a banshee. And final total, 731. So I'm off by 20,000 pounds. That's kind of bad. Uh, oop, log book, there we go, habitat, and it's still high. So we will be coming back to this here spot. Uh, in the next episode, uh, like I said, I probably won't record the next, e or uh, me setting them, because it does take a long, long time. So, with that being said, we'll just set maybe, uh, probably 12, and then go from there. But uh, right now, I'm just waiting for all the people to get tired like that. There we go. Pearl is too tired as well, so we're going to have to move them around, because we're going to have to have a stacker. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, you're done. Fantastic. Uh, let's have you rest, and then you go here. And, nope. Oh, let's, let's wait until someone walks over there. Apparently she's already done. Good, fantastic. Okay, f let's fast forward until they get tired, which I can't presume is going to be too terribly long. Let's make that a straighter line. About 29 minutes so far. That's not terrible. But yeah, setting and picking up in the same episode, it'd be over an hour. It'd be, it's insane. Emma is too tired to work. Deal. So we'll come... Exit. Exit. Oh, don't freeze. Oh, thank God. I thought it was going to freeze. I was going to get real pissed real quick. Uh, I don't know who my stackers are, so let's actually... No, I lied. Let's put Pearl out here as well. We can plant you there. It's actually a lot faster, so that's that's a plus. Then we just got to wait for them to get their measly asses out and uh, start gutting or uh, stacking, and then everything will be fine. And like I said, I'll have to make some adjustments and uh, move uh, upgrade some, but... Like I said, we should be 
I mean, if we average seven, here, let's do some math and see how good we're we're gonna get. So if we average three pounds and do that seven thirty eight sixty eight, we should get two point one million dollars. Might as well get two point two because there's two hundred two point one nine two million. So we'll just have to wait and see on that one. But uh, yeah. We should be doing good. Let's uh, pull that up. Let's make sure they're working. There we go. 200,000 pounds. That's that's a lot. Let's 57 minutes. Can they stack 257,000 pounds in, t in 20 minutes? I don't think so. No. But they got damn close. They got, what, 40,000, 50,000? Uh, let's fast forward five hours. Now they're too tired. Oh, we got 9,000 pounds. you got to be kidding me. Uh, Emma, I know you're not a stacker, but let's just let's have you stack. Doesn't matter about... I don't think the stacking matters, to be honest with you. I know the gutting does hugely, which... Let's actually see the gutting, which is all five. So that's going to bring up some money as well. we got 371,000 pounds remaining. So, I don't know. It was, it was a good haul for sure. Look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? Hopefully it uh, shows up just like my uh, my monitor here. But that is gorgeous. Got a little purple and like a bluish and then like red and orange and stuff like that. So, let's see. So, you're going to be done, I'd say, in about an hour. So, let's just skip an hour and see. It beeps. So, I'm guessing you're done. Beautiful. Thank you, gal. Thank you, guy. Okay, let's let's make some money. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Nope, E. There we go. All right. My grand total is going to be, let's just go easy and say $2 million. Oh. 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 Holy shit. Okay. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Okay, so we made $3.82 on Haddock, which is 31,000 pounds, so $12,000. Pollock. Four dollars and twenty-six cents a pound. We had thirty-four hundred pounds, fourteen thousand dollars. Redfish, seven hundred and twenty-three thousand three hundred eighteen pounds, or three point three million dollars. Silver hake, four dollars and twenty-six pounds, or uh, excuse me, four dollars and twenty-six cents per pound. Got one hundred ninety-three, uh, nine hundred eight pounds. 3,872 for the port, port revenue 433,000 which in grand total all this matters is 362 so we made $71,000 on them which is a grand total of 3.4 million dollars but you might as well just round up because what's 11,000? 21,000 no 11,000 there we go I was right the first time 3.5 3.5 million dollars look at that boat goes up six million dollars holy moly so yeah it is definitely definitely fantastic uh let's see machine gutting let's uh max that there we go freezing might as well max that as well because we're making some money so we can do it long uh long line not really don't really care about it but we're gonna make you max on that and max on that. I mean, it is kind of expensive, but, you know, it, it's not terrible. Uh, let's see. That there, and then machine gutting just go up. Now, it, technically, is this cheating, or is it not? I mean, it is in the game. It, it is quite expensive. But, I mean, we got, uh, we got the money. So, if we got the money, we got the time. Uh, let's see. Machine gutting. Max that out. Max this out. Not really... I don't really care about cutting or uh, cooking either, but uh, we accidentally hit this one, so might as well get it all maxed out. There we go, and uh, 4.7 million. So we did spend quite a bit, but like I said, not a uh, too terribly bad thing. But anyway, thank you guys so very much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let's, uh, let's get these bait lines unbaited back with krill. Max that ninety thousand dollars. Oh, also I need to get fuel before I forget because I don't think we're gonna make it. Seventeen thousand dollars, chump change, right? 
Anyway, so in the next episode, we will be going down back to the good old redfish grounds. And uh, let me know if you want to see uh, cod fishing or if you want to go and uh, get that new boat again. Because we can do either one and then we can go vice versa, down, bounce back and forth, do whatever. But anyway, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Just truly, truly mean a lot. And I'll catch you all in the next one. And you all, take care.